Our students get all the tools that they need in order to have a successful pre-professional career. We don't just focus on their music, we look at the entire student. The Colburn Academy is a sort of a utopian dream, really. The mind is cultivated, the, the applied teaching, the chamber music orchestra, the chance to play with others. It's small enough that we can keep our eye on every single one of them, and they feel safe in terms of taking chances with their creativity. Across the street they have the Walt Disney Concert Hall, and the Broad Museum is going to open across the street. It's just an electric place, the whole school. Colburn is a beehive of artistic sensibility. There's music and dance and theater. It is so rich and there's so much support and so much infrastructure. These facilities are unparalleled. Zipper Hall is one of the great treasures of Los Angeles. The acoustics here are fabulous. The library is wonderful. It's rescued me on many occasions when I've needed a part of more, more obscure chamber work. There are plenty of practice rooms. My students all have access to my studio, so when I'm not there, they can practice there late at night. It's all pretty darn good. I really love the academic classes because they give me a different perspective into music besides your applied work. We give our students the tools that they need in order to develop into well-rounded people, not just musicians. It's always social and I've met a lot of really cool people and we're all striving for the same things. Everything's all kind of integrated, it's all for the same purpose. Motivation is not a big problem. They come here with the anticipation that they're going to work hard and they have goals for what's going to be their future. It's so critical in these young, talented kids to give them a kind of atmosphere where they have colleagues as dedicated as they are. You're always around people and it's a, like a social but also like very musically enriching experience. I run the Virtuosi Ensemble, which is the largest ensemble at the Academy. It's just strings. I've never really experienced anything like this. I've always been in like a fool with winds and everything. We observe the master classes and sometimes the professors allow us to participate and play in them and it's really encouraging, inspiring to watch the older students and to learn from them. It's like one big family. I have 15-year-olds, 14-year-olds who are able to hear the older conservatory students. They're treated just as equally and, and I find that they grow enormously. Students help each other out, share the experience with each other. It's a very warm community and the weather is amazing. <laughs> Crucially, young people need the chance to play on stage. Really how you grow and change is when you perform, not just practice. We play in a recital every other week on Saturdays. We get to perform chamber or our own solo. They feel very comfortable because they've been performing on a weekly or bi-weekly basis in these wonderful facilities. Everybody knows something that's going on, so you can always find an opportunity right around the corner. We have a terrific class, presentational skills, that teaches them how to act on stage, how to speak to an audience, how to share their story. One of the ways I approach it is as an ensemble. Much of their life is a one-on-one -on -one with their instrument or one-on-one -on -one with the four walls around them. We learn these skills by doing activities and sometimes they can be like really silly and then we're all laughing and running around. It's almost like acting. When you're on stage, you're a performer. Everyone gets to know each other better there and our coaches really pretty cool too. When you can talk about your music in a deep and profound way, there's more of a connection that an audience is going to have. They're just at the right point in their life where they're like a sponge and you can really mold them. I'm interested in creating the kind of artist that will bring something interesting and individual to music. There's traditionally in the world of music a guest mentality, but if you think about yourself as the host, you can only do that by being passionate about what you do. Competition is important, but it's much more than that. It's developing lifelong friendships and musical relationships that will take them through a lifetime. It's really helped to be around other people because you realize how important it is to open up and share and not just play because you're playing, you know, not just for yourself. Our students are the luckiest people in the world. Not just because they're at Colburn, but because they get to do what they love, which not many people can say. Mm -hmm.